Hi there, welcome back to Alex the Red and Moor. So Bournemouth nil, Liverpool 4. So that was one perfect second half performance and one perfect top second half result too. That's a good way to start back after that 11 day break wasn't it. Jota and Nunes at the double in the end in the 4-0 win. And I even though I said Nunes may be better off as a second half sub. But now I'm starting to think that if Jota's available then Nunes has to start as well because both their opposite attacking playing styles combine and make them work wonders with Jota's clinicalness and Darwin's ultimate chaos mode just make it make a perfect match for the attack the attacking side of the game and today's second half totally proved that and also credits well to other players like Alex McCaster, I think who won a wonderful job holding the defence together and progressing into the attack stage. So McCaster did really well today's game too. But also massive credit to Konate. Oh, he's such a beast and I just hope that he, he's not got any sort of injury right at the end there because he's been such a bad miss if he was to miss out a few games now. And I suspect that he may actually be rested for the second leg game against Fulham away on Wednesday and maybe Quansall come in there as Konate was doing to match well, but oh, he's such so talented and Konate is better than Saliba and Gabriel combined and that should definitely be a fact from now on. <laughs> and I don't know, imagine if he didn't have so many injuries, imagine he'd, he'd be probably in the top three centre-backs of the top three centre backs in the world if it wasn't so Drew Prince. So, yeah, massive performance from him today. And I think just a brief bit of negativity, but uh, the, the Clive challenge on Diaz uh, in the first half, well, in my personal view, that was only a yellow, but I can definitely understand why many Liverpool fans will say that it's a red. Well, even myself say that because. Because if 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 Curtis Jones did not get sent off at Tottenham uh, earlier back in September, then we wouldn't be complaining all like this on Twitter and other social media. So that's the only reason why I feel a bit frustrated in that end because because both are all more or less identical challenges, and his class at one actually looked worse because at least Curtis Jones against Tottenham won the ball. But anyway, we found that we got the result in the end, so not really complaints. There and then, of course, we move on to the second leg away at Fulham, where I expect it will be tough. But as long as Liverpool avoid defeat, there will be in another cup final, most recently in two years. So, away at Fulham, I just expect to get the job done by any means necessary and to not risk any injured players because we have many other opportunities for them to get back together and many more. And many at the same important games coming up, especially like Chelsea at home and Arsenal away coming up very soon in the next 10 to 14 days. So, very important news to games as well. But anyway, what a way to start after that 11 day break. Bournemouth 0, Liverpool 4. Getting up the Reds.